Natural and man-made water sources such as rivers, lakes, dams, streams, and stormwater tanks may contain living microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, or non-living structures like viruses, which can be harmful for human health. Therefore, water and wastewater treatment plants in developed countries test and treat water before it is used for drinking, bathing, filling swimming pools, food preparation, or cooking. At the same time, however, 60% of all infant mortality worldwide is linked to infectious and parasitic diseases, most of them related to inadequate water disinfection in underdeveloped countries. Chemical disinfection approaches like chlorine dosing damage the cell membrane of microorganisms and then enter the cell to disrupt the respiration and DNA activity. Chlorine also kills most viruses, but it requires retention times of up to 30 minutes or more. In comparison, UV light provides rapid, effective inactivation of microorganisms through a physical process. When bacteria, viruses, and protozoa are exposed to the germicidal wavelengths of UV light, they are rendered incapable of reproducing and infecting. Ultraviolet UV light is emitted by our sun, however, it's invisible for the human eye. On the electromagnetic spectrum, it's positioned between X-rays and visible light, with wavelengths between 100 and 400 nanometers. This spectrum is categorized as germicidal, meaning it damages DNA and sterilizes surfaces with which it comes into contact. For humans, suntan and sunburn are familiar effects of exposure of the skin to UV light, along with an increased risk of skin cancer. When microorganisms or viruses are exposed to UV light, their nucleic acids are damaged in a way that they are rendered incapable of reproducing and infecting. Bacteria absorb light for growth process, therefore high-energy UV light is absorbed as well and enters cellular RNA and DNA. This absorption of UV energy forms new bonds between adjacent nucleotides, creating double bonds or dimers. The longer the exposure to UV light, the more the thymine dimers are formed in the DNA and the greater the risk of an incorrect repair or missed dimer. If cellular processes are disrupted because of an incorrect repair or remaining damage, the cell cannot reproduce or infect anymore. It has been proven that UV light treatment is a rapid and effective way to inactivate a wide list of pathogenic bacteria and viruses. Unlike chemical disinfection like chlorine dousing, UV light also eliminates protozoan parasites, which cause, for example, malaria. However, UV disinfection is usually a single-pass treatment, and if used insufficiently, bacteria strains could regrow during transportation from treatment facilities to private households. Thanks for watching, and if you like our 3-minute tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.